At this point, the vast majority of MGMA members have EHRs, and they're looking to optimize those EHRs for patient care, not necessarily to meet government mandates. That said, they're fully aware of the meaningful use criteria and requirements for government reporting for meaningful use. The current stage two and stage three requirements and the rollout of the requirements has been problematic for physician practices. What happened this year was that um, 2015 requirements were finalized, but the bar was set so high that there was a lot of concern expressed by MGMA and others in the physician community. In response to those concerns, CMS issued a proposed rule to roll back and to relax some of the more onerous unrealistic requirements. At the same time as they issued the rule to roll back some of the more onerous stage two requirements, they issued a proposed rule for stage three, which would be implemented in the future, that had significantly more onerous requirements. It really appears like to physician practices at this point that the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing it over at CMS. What we're seeking are achievable, meaningful metrics for EHR use that focus on clinical quality and patient care and not government requirements that um, may or may not be relevant to the practice of medicine. At this point, for example, physician practices um, are required to have a certain threshold for patients accessing their EHR information via the web. Um, we support the ability of patients to access that information. We just don't believe that there should be a threshold or a requirement of a, no the, a number of patients required to access that information. That's the kind of thing that's being rolled back in the proposed rule from CMS, and we're looking forward to that rule being finalized. In the meantime, it's created a lot of heartburn for practices because that rule will not be finalized until probably later this summer, yet the current law requires certain higher, a higher bar. So that uncertainty will likely be resolved later this summer. The stage three rules, MGMA will be um, commenting and asking for more realistic, achievable stage three rules. And ideally, we want to see this program you know, move forward and succeed for the next three years before it is sunset. The SGR repeal legislation sunsets meaningful use. And that's one of the real positive things in addition to SGR repeal that the legislation does. It creates one program which, which will integrate the meaningful use criteria into a quality-based reporting program. So the, we have an opportunity over the next three years before that's implemented in 2019 to create a, an achievable, patient-centered, quality-focused program. And that's what we're looking forward to over the next several years as we get through meaningful use stage two and stage three.